I'm coming in hot. What is up everyone? I'm about to start a lower body session. So it'll be strength and power. I know my, uh, I said that my goal for this year was to get bigger legs. Although I don't really like training strict bodybuilding style. I've always been an athlete, so I love doing athletic movements. So you'll see that I still like to do explosive uh, jumps, loaded jumps, plyometrics. But we'll get into some somewhat heavy lifting as well. So what I'm going to start off with are a few stretches and uh, mobility exercises that I like to do before I start any lower body work. Okay, so the first exercise is a pancake stretch. I'm using um, the cable to help uh, pull me closer to the ground. As you can see, my flexibility is terrible. So this is something that I've started doing a little bit more. This uh, helps lengthen out through the hamstrings and the adductors, which are very tight adductors or groin muscles. The next one is a hip mobility drill. The goal is to just lightly brush my foot along the surface of the hurdle trying to keep my knee nice and high at the end. It's a reverse step up. I like to do this one to get some blood flowing through the vastus medialis or the teardrop muscle in your quad. Three sets of uh, 15 to 20 reps is usually pretty good. You get a nice wee pump after that. The last exercise is, what's it called? A Jefferson curl. I quite like it because you're actually bending the spine. A lot of the time in the gym we say keep your spine straight to keep it safe but actually our spine was meant to bend so I'm just using a light weight and the main focus here is bending vertebrae by vertebrae as I reach down to the ground. At the bottom I'm actively tensing my core and trying to squeeze myself close to the ground. Feel a nice stretch through the hamstrings and then you just reverse the movement back up to the top. And now I'm gonna get into some more fun athletic stuff. So we just uh, finished a bit of a dynamic warm-up. Essentially the whole purpose of that was to increase the body temperature. Uh, the sprint at the end, we're there to help prime the body for the next explosive movement which I'm about to do. First exercise of the day is a box jump. An explosive movement, I'm gonna do a bit of a run-up just so I can get a bit more height. One of the key things that people don't really utilize as much as they could when they do box jumps is using their arms. Getting a powerful arm swing really help generate momentum upwards and get you more height as you leap off the ground. When doing box jumps, you wanna make sure that you're getting adequate rest. If you're not fully recovering in between sets, that's when fatigue starts to kick in. And once fatigue kicks in, you can't be as explosive anymore. So think about rest a bit longer so that the quality of your jumps can be better. Now we've uh, gotten into some back squats. Been slowly warming up, starting from the bar, then 60, then 80, just doing sets of five. At the moment, um, I don't have a program that I'm following. It's one of the things with being a strength and conditioning coach, you spend a lot of time programming for other people and then you just wing it when it comes to your own stuff. Done in the gym. For me, that's a wee dance move. 
I don't know if you can see how sweet I am. Goodness. There's a woman in this country. Running a bit short on time. It's one of the things with video and the workout is it drags out the session a wee bit. So I'm just gonna finish off with some unilateral, which means single leg work. I'm gonna do some dumbbell reverse lunges and then some dumbbell single leg RDLs. I was gonna do some barbell hip thrust, but I'll just leave the hip thrust for tonight with wifey. Anyway, thanks for joining in with the session. Peace out, y'all.